Well, I'll yield to the distinguished chairman, but I will say that we had a strong case for impeachment of the president and removal for the president. Anything more would be in terms of where we go in the Senate, and I'll yield to the chairman. We, we've always felt a certain uh, urgency about this uh, impeachment, given that the president was trying to get foreign help in cheating in the next election. But as soon as we did take up and pass the articles, Mitch McConnell made it clear that he didn't want a trial in the Senate, that he didn't want to hear from witnesses, that he didn't want documents. And this time has given us the ability to uh, show the American people the necessity of a fair trial, to expose the degree to which McConnell is working hand in hand with the subject of the impeachment, the president, to essentially turn what should be a trial into a sham. Uh, and that, that time has been, I think, very effective uh, in not only bringing new evidence to light, and the evidence was already overwhelming, but also forcing senators to go on record. Do they want a fair trial, one that's fair to the president, but also fair to the American people, uh, or are they going to participate in a cover-up? Uh, so I think it's been very effective, and, and as you've seen, additional evidence continues to come to light that not only has bolstered an already overwhelming case, but has also put additional pressure, I think, on the Senate to conduct a fair trial. Uh, and the last thing I'll, I'll say is uh, Mr. McConnell has taken to saying that the Senate should only consider the closed record that comes from the House. Uh, and as if what the Senate is is not a trial but an appeal from a trial. But, of course, the Senate, the framers had in mind a real trial with witnesses and evidence. And if McConnell makes this the first trial in history without witnesses, it will be exposed for what it is, and that is an effort to cover up for the president.